So to get started with Surefoot, I don't know this horse, so I'm gonna start with the half physio pad. It's the lowest profile pad I have. It's an inch and a half thick with a half inch of hard and an inch, uh, inch of hard and a half inch of medium. And you can see that he's already curious about it, which is really great. I wanna let the horses look at it, smell it if they want. If they don't do that, it's okay. But at this point, if they're already reacting, if they're stepping back, if they're looking at it sideways, if they're showing signs of anxiety, I need to slow down and break this down much further. But we can already see, we got some licking and chewing. He's checked out the pad. So I think we're good to go, okay? I'm gonna place the pad on the ground by his foot. I'm gonna hold my lead shank in one hand on my back, slide down the leg, and ask him to pick up the foot. And when I ask him, I let him have the time it takes to pick up his foot because I don't wanna knock him off balance, okay? And we can see that he stood on the pad, lowered the neck, he's curious, he checked it out, really nice. And I'm gonna let him go for a walk. Because he didn't show many signs of anxiety and he seemed quite comfortable, I'm gonna go from the half physio pad and skip hard and go right to firm because he's basically a calm horse, he's curious and he's interested. And so that tells me it's okay to go to firm. If I saw any signs of anxiety, if he was unstable, I would go to hard, okay? But he seems pretty good to go. I'm gonna let him look at the pad, drop it on the ground hold the lead shank in one hand with that on my back, slide my hand down the leg, pick up the foot, kick the pad into place, set the foot down. And when he's standing on the pad, I wanna give him some space. You can see he's kinda of curious, he's looking back, he's checking me out. But I wanna kind of leave him to process on his own. There, if he's just resting his whiskers on me, that's fine. He's just checking me out and deciding maybe I'm an okay person since we have never met before. I'm just gonna allow him to stand there for a moment. And you can see that he's a little tail swish, right? But if we look at his face, you can see that he's thinking about this. He's not messing with me, he's not looking around. There's a little eye blink. And so I look for signs like head lowering, right? Eye blinks, lick and chew, breathing. Nice, right on cue, right? There's a nice breathing change, okay? And you can see that he's actually quite happy to stay here, right? If you notice the nostrils, right? There's some wrinkling, and then we get some interesting mouth action. And I'm just gonna stay out of his way, and it looks like we might even get a yawn. So that's awesome, right? There's our head down, we're in grazing mode, right? He's curious about the bag, no problem. But we can see already how much lower the neck is, which is terrific. Right, because we know that when the neck comes down below the height of the withers, we're in parasympathetic or rest and digest. So he's come in and he's alerted a little bit. He heard something. Frisians tend to have a very high neck set, but here he is letting his neck down and I'm just gonna allow him to walk off. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to the other front foot. I'm just gonna slide around to his right side. Okay, I use my foot to position the pad, so I just kick it into place. I can pick it up and allow him to look at it again if he seems like he needs that, that's totally okay. I hold the lead shank in my hand on my back, I slide my hand down the leg, ask for the foot, and he picked this one a little bit sharper than the other foot. Okay, a little snap, but that's okay. I just notice all those things when I pick up the foot. So I feel for whether the leg is heavy, light, whether he pushes forward or pulls back, does he pull it up or tap the toe, or is the leg feeling relaxed and able to just come down onto the pad? And so here he is checking in with me, right? Got some nice eye blinks. Yep, neck coming down, grazing mode. Okay, checks out the pad, big breath. He's really curious about it. And he's, <laughs> he's gonna take me right over to the other pads because he's like, what are these? These are awesome. Right? So he wants to know what we've done and he really wants to check out all these other pads. He's looking at pods, right? mediums. He's kind of picking his pad right now. So I'm just gonna take him for a walk and we'll come back with another option. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the slants. Okay, the slant is angled. The yellow slant is the same material as the green pad and I'm gonna use it heel high. So I'm just gonna come around and bring him forward another step. Yep. 
Just one step. There you go. It's okay. All right, so we're not going forward a step. No big deal. I'm going to drop the pad on the ground, pick up the foot, and I ask and I wait for him to give it to me. Set the foot on the pad. And you can see he's a pretty big guy, so he's crushed that a fair amount. So maybe I actually need to use the hard slant just to have more structure and to give him a little more feeling of heel high. But that's okay. This is where we can play with all the options right now. Okay, and he's looking over at the sign. He's looking behind him, right? But all the time he's doing that, he's still feeling what's happening underneath his foot. And now look at how the neck has just come down. The face is really soft. My eye blinks. And there's a little tiny sway. It's very small, right? But you can see as he moves his head, or I can see from my vantage point, as he moves his head, there's little tiny movements in his chest. But he's really thinking about what he's doing. And you notice that he's not messing around with me. He's really feeling what that pad is doing underneath his foot. And there's our grazing mode. So we'll go for a walk, and when they step on it like that with the back foot, I usually know I'm good to go. So I'm just going to grab a pink, which has more structure. So the pink is the same material as the hard, the orange. I'll let him look at it. And you can see now he's really quietly curious about this. He's interested in investigating the pad. Right, the ears are really soft. I'm going to come over and do the other front foot. I slide my hand down the leg, lift the foot. And again, I notice that he picks up the right front quicker than the left, a little snappy, right? So that's just something to keep track of to see if that changes. He stepped back on the pad and you can see that his heel came off of it, no big deal. And he kind of drew his leg really in close to the other one. So that's just interesting to notice. Right now he has his head over that right front foot. We can see that he's really thinking inwardly right now. I'm going to let him have that time. Right, he heard a sound, looked back. Right. And I can mix and match pads. So I'm, since I have this other green pad handy, I'm just going to slide it up and put it under the other front foot. So I kick it into place. Ask for this foot, and I have to remember now, once one foot is on a pad, that's 25% unstable. And so when I pick up the other foot, I have to really give him the time to figure out how to do that. All right, so I really wait for him. And I can see on the right front foot how he's really dropped down on the inside because he's not standing square on it. It's totally fine that he wants to go for a walk. And he's really interested in what we've got going here. He likes the playground. All right, so I'll just take him for a little walk. And I think I can already go ahead and do back feet with him. Or maybe we're not going anywhere. He's kind of like and stay in here with the pads. But I'll just bring him around for a better angle. Okay, I'm going to move these pads out of the way. Just ask him to come forward for a second. He heard a sound outside the arena, so no big deal. The purple pads are more springy. I let him look at it. I place the pad on the ground, pick up the foot. And that time when he picked up his right front foot, it didn't have that snappy feeling, but I could feel how he drew it inside a little bit. So it seems like this right front leg always wants to draw in a little, which means there's gonna be some tension in the muscles that adduct the leg. But those are the kind of things that I wanna pay attention to when I'm doing sure foot, because that's the kind of information I wanna gather when I do this with my horse. It'll give me clues about what's happening when I ride him or drive him, right? Okay, and you notice that he stepped off this one. So this one, he didn't stay on as long, but he didn't seem to mind it, right? Looks over, and um, Hancho, I'm actually gonna ask you to come and hold him while I do the back. So if you do have a friend that can assist you when you go to back feet, that's always a great thing. And I'm gonna start with a hard slant, the pink pad. I'm gonna move these others out of the way. Okay, and I'm just gonna let him know I have the pad, right? He's really interested and he checks it out. Okay, has an itch, no problem. Okay, I slide my hand along the horse's side, place the pad on the ground, slide down to the foot, lift the foot, 
kick the pad into place, and I wait for him to put his foot down. So I just guide it a little bit. And I can feel he's not quite sure where to land, so I just guided it down. And it's totally okay if he just rests his toe like that. Yep, and if you just give him a little more space, yep. Great, right? And so he's, he saw Hansha move away, so he's not quite sure what to do. But you can see that overall he's much quieter, right? Very curious about what we're doing. We can see some softening in the lips. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a second slant. So I'm just gonna come around to the other side, slide my hand down his body so he knows I'm coming, kick my pad into place, pick up the foot. And you can see that there's a little bit of anxiety there. He kind of pumped it once. And that's not unusual with horses with the back feet. But I just follow it and guide a little. And he's not quite sure where to go. This is very typical, especially the first time you do back feet, that you'll see the horse have a little bit of anxiety about picking up the back feet. It's not uncommon. And it doesn't matter that he's gonna step to the inside, right? It doesn't matter <laughs> that he's on one toe. You goosed yourself. <laughs> Right? And you can see how he's really starting to sway. So the whole back end now is starting to sway while he's standing on the pad. Yeah. We'll let him look around. Yep. And it's just a very easy rocking that's happening back there. We can see that he's resting one toe, he's drawn it into the other foot. But the whole body is swaying. Yep, you can see it in the chest. We're just gonna let him sit here for a minute and just feel that. Because you can see that he's very quiet, right? And he's thinking, right? And there suddenly his lower lip started to hang. And so it's in this moment that you wanna give your horse the chance to just feel this without interfering with him. So giving him some space, stepping away a little bit, right? Suddenly the neck has come down. Right, deep eye blinks. We can see some breathing changes. You can actually hear it, right? Little muzzle wiggle, he's pulled up the nostril, then it softened, pulled it up and softened. And so these are a lot of the things that you'll see when you're working with Surefoot. As you'll see, yeah, you can see it repeatedly. If I point, it gets too close. So, um, but you can see how the one nostril is just going up and down where the other one is staying down and relaxed. You can see how soft the eyes are. Right, nice little head shake, and off you go. And as he walks, he's slower and more relaxed with his neck down, right? And it's really interesting because he's walking at such a slow pace because he's really thinking about his body right now. So just come forward. Good, right there's good. Okay, and I'm gonna offer the slants behind again because he really liked that, right? So when I see a combination that the horse is enjoying, I might repeat it once or twice more, right? I let him look at the pads and I'll know if I need to change or stop because he just won't show any interest. He'll either just wanna move off or he won't wanna pick up his foot or he won't wanna place it down. So as long as the horse is interested, I can continue, and there he started to give me his foot, no big deal, right? I don't feel like he was trying to get away, but that he started to pick up his foot and lost his balance a little bit. So I'll ask again, and I just kind of follow the foot. Here we go, right? And maybe I need to put the pad a little further back, so I'll do that. And I'm just gonna move the other pad away before I pick it up, so I'm out of any danger from his hind foot. Drop the other pad on the ground, pick up the foot, kick the pad into place, and it's okay that he stepped off. So I don't worry if the horse steps off the pad. Sometimes when I, my guy, when I pick up that foot, he loses his balance a little bit and needs to move. Right, I'll just come back around the other side and see. Yep, just go for a walk. 
So we can clearly see there that this time he's not so interested. He may have gotten enough information from the first time around. And since this is his first session, it's okay to see it to be short. We don't have to do a long period of time. Right? We can see he's walking slowly in a really relaxed manner. And so, yeah, <laughs> he's just dropped his neck down even further. So your session doesn't have to be long. Every horse determines the length. In this case, this is plenty for this horse today. And tomorrow you could come back and ask him if he would want a different combination of pads or uh, you know, a different arrangement underneath the feet. And maybe he'd like it longer. It's totally up to the horse. And so your job is to really learn to listen to them and figure out which pad, which foot, how long. And if you only have one pair of pads, that's great because any pair of pads working with Surefoot is gonna help give you more information about your horse, improve your relationship, and create better balance. So enjoy your horse and have fun with Surefoot.